is the testicular artery an additional artery? All right, now we're delving into some human anatomy. It's often fascinating to explore how our bodies are essentially a complex network of highways for blood vessels, each one with its own important destinations. The term additional can be a bit misleading here. When we talk about the testicular artery, we are referring to a specific well-established artery, not an extra one by any means. In males, the testicular artery, also known as the internal spermatic artery, is indeed a key player in the circulatory route. It branches off the abdominal aorta, quick anatomy refresher. That's the main artery shooting straight down from your heart. The testicular arteries, because you've got one for each testicle, descend into the abdomen and eventually make their way into the scrotal sac to supply oxygen-rich blood to the testes. Now, why is this so important? Well, the testes aren't just there for decorative purposes. They're the heavy lifters of sperm production and a crucial component of the endocrine system, pumping out testosterone. To fulfill these roles, they need a dedicated blood supply, which is provided by the testicular arteries. So, to visualize it, imagine you're on the I-5 heading out of Portland. Now picture that as the abdominal aorta. As you're driving down this life-giving freeway, you'd take specific exits to reach your precise destinations, just like the testicular artery veers off the abdominal aorta to deliver blood where it's most needed. It's this customized network that allows our bodies to function so effectively. Each artery has a perfectly mapped route, optimized not for traffic, but for keeping us alive and kicking. Not additional per se, but personalized. And just as Portland's landscape is tailored for its unique geography, our vascular system is an intricate grid tailored to our body's specific requirements.